Hello everybody! So my name is Miss Karin. For those of you who haven't had class with me, I teach a very fun movement class which helps us to coordinate lots of things, have fun, and work our way up towards juggling. So I wanted to make this video for you so that you can keep practicing at home and keep seeing your progress, which is always very exciting. So let's get started with our silks. And some of you remember that I do the ghost, so I get it from the middle and we start with this, well, first we start with right, left, clawing down, yeah? Claw down, claw down. And using our wrist. And then we work towards cross, cross, catch, catch. So they don't go at the same time, right? Right, left, left, right. Four parts. Right, left, left, right. Now, once you've practiced that a lot, <laughs> and they're not getting tangled, and they're not dropping, then we can start with three silks. One, two, three. Okay? Ready, let's count by three. So, one, cross, cross, and back. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> And yeah, you get your rhythm. And get your knees into it, bend your knees. <laughs> and keep trying. Okay, that is our kind of pre juggling with the silks. The bouncy balls. Okay, so this is part two. Once we are floating around with our silks, we move to something that is a little bit heavier. Okay. We want these to be in columns and right in front of us, right? Sometimes we were out here. We want them to be kind of going to the same place. Now I have these weird tiles, so it doesn't work so well, but right, left. Palm down, palm up, palm down, palm up. Okay, same thing we're doing bouncing, we can do it in the air. Trying to imagine these columns. Sometimes I see, my dear students, they are up here. <laughs> okay, so let's bring our shoulders down. We can bend our knees when we do it and we keep our palms at this level. So we can make a small, make a smaller throw and from that same place with our wrist we make it go higher. The important thing is to keep our beat. We have regular jung, 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 jung. down, up, down. Okay, so start small. Now, same as we did with the silks. Throw, switch, catch. Yes, and the other direction. Okay, so if you've been with me in class, then you're sure you've got this one. Let's do our toss. So palms up, and one, two, three, four. So to get there, let's first just do the normal toss. Toss. So it's like a cup. I'm gathering my ball like this. Right? Same with the left. Okay, and then maybe we grab with two, two at a time. Okay, and this is, gives us more time than doing it like this. Right? There's more force. So this one is called a, a lift or a toss. So watch, I have a red and a green. I'm going to toss, toss, catch, catch. We did it in the air with the silks. Ready? Toss, toss, catch, catch. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right. Okay, so one of them has to go over the other. One, two. The second one goes over. 
And this hand has to be quick. It has to go over and come back to catch. All right, so practice with the toss. Now we can experiment. Same movement, but palms down. Cross, cross, catch, catch. Palm down, palm down, palm up, palm up. Down, down, up, up. Right, left, left, right. Okay? So pause the video and each exercise that I show, take your time. Try and do two or three without the balls going away from you. And it's okay if they do. That's part of the fun. Remember, drink some water, take a deep breath, come back tomorrow and try the exercises that are difficult because that's where we need to keep uh, trying. If you like this video and you're feeling that your heart is beating, you're happy and challenged, then press the like button below, subscribe to Wonderstand for more videos and more fun and meaningful educational experiences. I hope to meet you soon and I'll see you in the classroom. Keep practicing!